We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. This conference will now be recorded. Myself, Professor Mayang Jain. And today I am going to explain how we can create animation in our Android application using Android Studio. So, working with animation is our today's topic. So, next, we'll start with this topic. So, basically, Android, what is animation means something we may movement to the object or moving 2D animation, all that part. So, Android offers basically three kind of animation, twin view animation, frame animation, interpolated property animation. What is twin animation? Twin animation are basically applied to move an object, resize of object, changing the position of the object, rotating the object, opacity. That all things come in part of twin view object. So in that thing we'll do, we'll see this practically what how we can do this twin view animation. Frame animation is commonly based activity. We create frame by frame, move one by one frame as a object of a resource and at a time we see one frame then after some duration of time next frame is displayed next frame frame by frame the animation are moved that is frame by frame this is a traditional animation concept so basically we can go with the same image we can rotate multiple image same time that can happen third type of animation the property animation system enable you to animate almost anything within your application. This make you to animate anything in the animation. Means you can from one time to other time you can animate any of the object of the application. You can changing one activity to another activity by some animated effect. You can do all that thing. So now we'll start with twin view animation. Simply what we want means scaling, positioning changing the opacity all this thing come in our twin view animation this thing we'll see first practically commonly what we are doing basic in this thing means moving with activities layouts within the activity if you are changing multiple layouts within the same activity with some animated effect also we can go about that thing. some content you want to display properly with some effect or some feedback box, some input and progress bar, and all that thing you can show. Creating a tuned view animation, there are basically following types available. Alpha animation. Alpha animation, what it does, let your animation can be changed the view of transparency, opacity, or alpha. It's our transparency change. Rotate animation means we are rotating the object X, Y panel. Using X and Y, we rotate our object. And scaling. We are giving the zoom effect to our object. And translation means we are moving the object around the screen. That is our translate. These things we will see one by one. How we can go with Android animation? We have various animation set classes. And we use that classes. We provide that start time, duration, and we can set our control the animation in this. So same way, see a main thing. We set our some animation scaling. Pivot X, pivot Y duration with the set animation we set this thing here main thing is is offset and duration we will see this code and main thing you can apply the animation to your view by calling start animation method see this is start animation method my view dot start animation method and my animation animation sequence run once and stop 
what animation is doing in Queen animation, it runs once and it's stuck. If you want to do it repeatedly more, then you have to set set repeat mode animation dot restart. So now it will be going repeatedly and set repeat counter. How much time you want to repeat it dot infinity means n number of time. It's continuously it will be repeating in multiple number of times. You can focus on animation to loop or repeat in reverse order, restart or reverse. That thing we can do it. Restart or reverse order we can set this. This is a basic code. You say animation object what we get and dot set repeat mode, set repeat counter, and then we set means start animation. So we will see this by practical coding so we can understand properly and we can hands on on our practical concept. This is all Android things makes while seeing practical coding only. So we can understand that all parts very properly. So first of all, we will here various files I'll be explaining you one by one. So first of all, we need an any folder in resource. And in any folder, we'll keep our animation file. Suppose we want to do alpha, we'll see one by one. Alpha animation, I have created one XML file of alpha. Alpha animation basically alpha like we had taken alpha from 0 0.2 from alpha to alpha 1.5 duration I'd say duration same way rotation and the file for rotation XML file so duration set rotate duration from degree you have to rotate from 0 degree pi by x 50 degree pi by y 50 degree start offset 0 and 2 degree 360 so 0 to 360 we will rotate 50 percent that is showing the rotation degree we set the attributes in rotation dot x same way we created scale from x axis y axis we scale our object to 0 to 200 and duration for that is scaling is 1500 second it is millisecond so it means one 1500 milliseconds and translate same way we translate our object from x delta to y x delta from x delta to x delta from 0 to 100 from y 0 to y 100 we set it duration same thing so we create our various animation xml file in any folder this animation files are ready now we created the code we set this is a very simple animation application nothing more tough basic code basic tag we had used it most basic property what are useful to understand that only we try to understand here so we created our any folder with the respected four files what we want for animation to understand all four types of animation alpha rotate scale and trans now i will come to my first of all layout will set so we'll go to our activity main dot layout file here I have taken one simple spinner. Spinner is a one type of drop down. This also will see here how we work with spinner. I select all object from spinner. I will select item from spinner. And based on that selection, the respected my animation will be done. So I am having four animations. I had set four animations alpha, rotate, scale, and translate. So I'll, that thing I will be attaching with my spinner. So first of all, here I will take just spinner and one image view. So in which image view I am going to apply all this animation. So one image I had taken, that's why I take an image view and one spinner. Just to take it, set its layout, means your position or all thing you can set according to your requirement. And I had set this my thing. See this here, one image view and one my spinner is here right. Now what I will do, I will be going to my string.xml file. And I will be taking one string array in that I'm taking because I will be attaching at runtime to the spinner the items what I want to display in my spinner. So I want rotate, scale, translate, and alpha. So I, with select option, so I put it a item, five items, select, rotate, scale, translate, and alpha. So this thing I had written in my string root XML file, a string array with the name name array. So the name of a string array is name array. This thing is ready. Now our main part of coding come with the main activity where my layout is set, and I am coming to my main activity. 
here first of all i am having two objects spinner and image view so i will taking the object of spinner and image view i'll be binding it with my object sp1 and image so what i am doing here i am coming to my code i am image find view by id r dot id dot image view one and r dot id dot spinner so now sp1 is pointing to my spinner one in my layout what i had set it and now in this spinner i am going to attach that array adapter through array adapter the what list we had created in array list in our string dot xml so just i am getting that string array get resource dot get string array r dot array dot name and what is my array name name array so this name array i had taken here and now this array adapter i am making array adapter object using this and i will pass this array object in this part and then i will putting this array adapter to my spinner spinner dot set adapter equal to apd array adapter this much may be clear to you all and now to this image i'll be attaching set image resource r dot drawable dot i am taking a basic default image what is available in our drawable resource the launcher background only i am using i am not adding any new image just you have to understand any image image can be anything you can take whatever image and whichever thing you have to apply the image i am taking an image and setting this image to this thing to coding and now on the select of that image on the select of the which option we select from spinner my animation should be done so i have to go with the switch case of on item select to spinner to so spinner dot set on item select listener i'll be going with item select listener in that on item select method will be there and in this i have to go one by one method so i had selected attach this string view rotate square translate and alpha so this thing i'll be checking here with the switch case value rotate alpha scale translate if it is rotate so just simple what i'm doing apply animation i'm using this object apply animation i create the object of animation animation class object that create apply animation apply animation equal to animation on until dot load animation and in load animation what i'm doing i'm just calling get application content and r dot anim dot rotate r dot anim dot as soon as you write r dot you will get anim your dot rotate so it will pointing to that thing and now this apply animation object is ready and what i have to do to which object i want to apply this animation i want to apply to image so image is ready with img img dot set start animation img dot start animation and apply animation this two line basic code to apply the animation now we are ready to apply the animation next we are coming with continue and we are coming with the alpha same thing and just we'll check r dot anim dot alpha because alpha file is there with just alpha dot xml we'll start it with start animation same way scale and same way translate so this four things are ready with the four switch case just simple i attach it just over nothing else we want to do it this thing is ready now we'll check this code so we'll be going with this method we'll be running this code now Really, we'll be seeing this running code. You can see lively we have run this code. It is installed. The simple background with kept in image view. This is a background image of Android default that is available in our project when we create. Nothing. I am not taking any new image. You can take a new image. You can put your image in drawable folder, and then you can attach with the image background. And now I am going. This is my spinner. See, whatever the items are attached. Rotate, scale, translate, alpha is available, and just I select rotate. You see, my object is rotating. Whatever we had applied in rotate dot 
will see dot and dot x sum. Our object is rotating in this. Same way, if I go with scale, what is a scale class we had done? We had done 0 to 200, 200 pixel. Just I'm going scale. See, 0 to 200 pixel, it is moving the object. Then we go with translate. The object is translated 0 to 100, only 100 pixel it is moved. Again, we'll see it is moving or not. So you will see with the translate. See, it come this much and then it goes into the same position. The animation we have done it now. Then we'll see alpha. See, it's becoming like the opacity. Again, I'm showing you all the things. See, first rotate. We had written the code with the XML file of rotate.xml is here available. And I had explained you previously. Now we'd use that thing with running code, scale, translate, and alpha. So this with the spinner. Here we had said how we attach the spinner with array adapter. We had said that array adapter code also image. We had attached the image and we had provide the various animation of alpha rotate scale and translate. So this is was a running application with this thing. Now we continue the further part in animation. What we can Now we'll be continuing with the frame by frame animation. Second part the animation drawable class is used to create a new frame by frame animation presented as a drawable resource. So we use animation drawable class, means in drawable object we put our XML file for frame by frame animation and then we'll work with that. You can define your animation drawable resource, external resource in your project of resource to drawable.xml. Whatever the we have the seconds what we're applying, that will be in milliseconds. Group of collection what we provide to the nodes and that are attached in a drawable attributes images, and we can go in that way. So basic step what you have to do, you have to prepare a set of images. If you go with the images, properly name that and the sequence should be ready. Put all the image in resource drawable folder. Create a XML file in resource drawable folder. As per the sequence and duration, what we want for each frame and name as a whatever the name we want to give. Here I am telling our name as a frame dot animation underscore image dot XML. It's your, your own choice name, whatever name you can give to your XML file. It will be easily understandable by the coding time. We can understand the name. So it is our. As per the developer choice, these are basic steps how to create frame.xml. The basic thing I can explain you when you create a XML file in drawable class to add a frame. So, this is a basic set animation list, and in this thing, main code is our item number of if you have five images, so five item tag will write drawable resource at the drawable our image name. What are the images? The 0, 1, 2, 3, what image? Not so, it's the name which you will take. And durable number of milliseconds. Next item, next item, we can edit same way. This list will be this XML file will be edited, and we can give as a name that we discuss frame animation image dot XML. It's the choice. This file is ready. Now what you have to do? Then you have to add an image view to your layout, and we have to set with the frame animation image dot XML as a background image view. Our XML file, what we had created, we had to set as a background image view. So there are two ways to set it. First is layout XML file. In layout XML file, just we read Android colon background. As we read an image view, as we put our image view in our layout, we set all the attributes. Same way we can set Android colon background at the red drawable means drawable folder frame animation image. What we had created this XML file that will attach here. That is first way. Second way through programming in our activity file, Java file, just to create image view. Same way, image view dot set background. 
get drawable r dot drawable dot animation image file that you can attach here. There are two way, whichever ways you can use it according to your requirement. So this thing is was a one part. We'll see it as a running code now. So parallelly we'll be seeing this code now. So frame by frame animation. First of all, we have to know in drawable. We have to go with there in drawable folder. We need frame animation dot XML first file. So before that, I can show you. See here in drawable class, I added four image. Image one, two, three, four. There are four images: image one, image two, image three, image four. For any images I taken, I have taken the images of fruits. Various fruits images are there here. So I put it this four images here. And I had created frame animation file, animation list. I take I had a tag in that item, item duration 10 milliseconds, and it's drawable, drawable image one. Then I taken its 80 second, 800 millisecond image two, 800 millisecond image three, 800 millisecond image four. So four items I added here respectively. See, we this also we do suppose we do four. 100 milliseconds. We can understand it is work. This file is ready. Now our frame animation image.xml file is ready. Images are there. This file is ready. Now I have to go to my layout file because I will be attaching this file at layout level only. So first of all, we will go with layout and I will add image view. Just only there is one image view. And this also layout add side as fill parent. So full view I'll get a this image. Entire application full view my image will be there. I would add set an Android colon background at the red drawable slash in frame animation image. This XML file I had set as a background as a image view. This second step also complete. Now we come to our main activity. We take this two object image view, whatever the image view we had at, and animation drawable because we want animation. Drawable object animation drawable object will be using to animate by frame by frame. Now I created my animation. This is my image view. Find image view r dot id dot image view animation. This is a name here. Image view name animation, whatever I used in image view. So now my image view is pointed by this. Second step, what I have to do. My animation durable, this animation durable object. You have to create the animation durable object of my animation dot get background. See, my animation is over this dot get background. This second step you have to set our object of animation durable with the respected image view. My image view name is my animation so my animation drawable equal to my animation image view this is my image view dot get drawable so now my object is properly defined as per my animation drawable drawable object so now just i will start the animation so it will take that external file effect and it will be showing me this thing just i'd go on with start animation and you have to stop it you can go with the animation stop method so I just choosing start method and I'll seeing this thing. So it is running. Install application is installed. I got the message. This is image I'm moving. I had given 800 milliseconds. So it is nearly less than a second also. So images are rotating one by one. I mean, frame by frame images are changing. This is a frame animation. What you can see, simple example. It is a layout image view I'd set as a layout as a full. So if you want your layout should be changed. Just I stop it. I go here. I go to fill parent in place of fill parent. Suppose if I give 400 pixel. Suppose I give here. Width as a fill parent and height as a
400 picks. You see the changes. Again, it is running. I run it and I'll get the effect. It is beautiful. Height accordingly. Images are changing for image. You can add number of images 10, 15, 20, whatever you want. But see the as per the memory size and all that thing you have to consider. So this is one of example of frame by frame animation. So in this tutorial, I discuss with you the basic concept of animations. How you can apply animation in your Android application. This is as a for the student. Initially, you can start with your animation part. Understand these two concepts. Apply to these animations. And go by step by step, simple things so you can understand it. Don't make your application initial level learning concept as a complex. Make it as as simple as you can run your application. And then you can apply animation to any of the object as per your requirement. So in this tutorial lecture, today's lecture, only we'll consider this much things. Hope all of you understand this basic part. Good. Good day. Thank you.